to Roberts and Rambles Recommends. Today we're talking about 10 of the places Cedar and I most enjoyed going to so far on our trip. One of the first places we really enjoyed going to on our trip was the African country of Botswana. There was wildlife everywhere and our guide Cabello Senyatso was extremely nice and informative, especially with the birds. Botswana also had friendly people everywhere and you could always just pull over and ask somebody for directions, which we did several times. In Botswana, one of our favorite places we went to was the was Naipan National Park. It's part of the Makatakati salt pans ecosystem. And at one point when we were driving through, we stopped at a watering hole that looked like a classic African diorama, except no museum would put so many specimens into a single diorama. There were probably, there were, t there were tens of zebra, at least five ostriches, maybe 50 animals in all with, with kudu, impala, grayback sparrowlarks, and a bachelor all over the place with several more vultures. It was incredible. After Botswana, we went even further south to South Africa, where after some time in the area of Kruger National Park, we stayed in Cape Town, which was our next really liked spot. Um, it was nice because we had our own house and we rented a car, so it felt like we were really living there instead of just staying there. We also could go down to see the African penguins anytime we wanted and climb Table Mountain, getting a good view of the beautiful protea plants in characteristic of the area, and also seeing some gannets and a white chin petrel at the beach. After three months in Indonesia, we moved to the oceanic country of Papua New Guinea, home to the birds of paradise I had been waiting to see for almost my entire life. I got that chance when we got, went to Kamuu Lodge near Mount Hagen in the Highlands, and where birds of paradise such as ribbon-tailed astrapias and brown sicklebills frequented the feeders every day non-stop, along with another beautiful selection of New Guinea's Highland bird life. The cool temperatures were a nice break from the jungles of Indonesia, which commonly got extremely hot and humid, with nice people manning the lodge and also as knowledgeable bird guides, we were able to see a lot of interesting stuff. In Australia, just north of the border between Queensland and New South Wales, there's a national park called Lamington that I had been hoping to go to for a while. In that park is O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat, a renowned lodge that hand feeds Crimson Rosella is an Australian king parrot, so you can see them and they perch on your head, along with regent bowerbirds, satin bowerbirds, um, paradise rifle birds, noisy pittas, and the elusive Albert's lyrebird. It was a dream for me to go there and stay at the lodge, and we did just that, hiking on the trails and in its remote setting, much higher than the surrounding area although it still did get pretty smoky from the bushfires. In Sydney, we went to Taronga Zoo, which, is, which you can tell is unique just by the way you get in. You take a gondola up the hill and over the zoo, allowing you to see several animal exhibits, such as the elephants. Once in it, we managed to see koalas, their star red pandas, penguins, kangaroos, amazing birds, and the Regent Honey Eater, which is critically endangered, and the zoo is helping reintroduce it to the wild. They also have a rare Eastern Bongo, a subspecies of the Bongo, which is a type of large antelope found in Central Africa. This is one of only 500 still existing, and a calf was recently born, showing how they help in conservation. After Australia, we headed to New Zealand, which is one of our favorite countries we've been to so far. In the land of birds, there were kiwis, geese, gulls, and shell ducks everywhere we looked, along with another type of flock of sheep that crossed the road and stopped traffic for quite a lot of time. After that, we um, headed up to the North Island in, 
Auckland where we hung out for a little bit and went to Tiri Tiri Matongi, a predator-free sanctuary where we managed to see North Island kokakos, stitch birds, and white heads. New Zealand was amazing. In New Zealand, we started on the South Island, which with the Southern Alps felt very unexplored and wild. We went to Milford Sound and saw Kias on the way dismantling somebody's car. We also went to Stewart Island, this sort of unknown third New Zealand island, where we saw southern brown kiwis and albatrosses. One of the highlights of our stay in Auckland on the North Island was our trip to the Auckland Zoo. The zoo is divided into different regional zones, such as South America, Africa, New Zealand, and Australia. This felt nice because we were able to see lots of more similar animals in the same area at the same time. Cedar finally got to see kiwis, and we also saw Got to, we also got to look into their open viewing wildlife hospital where we even saw Takahe having surgery. In Chile in South America, we decided to stay for a month in the southern town of Puerto Varas. It's right on Lake Yanquie, which is amazing, and it also has wonderful views of Volcan Osorno, a perfectly a perfect cone volcano rising out of the mists. There are plenty of birds around. My cedar is the artist who drew the amazing drawings you saw in the video today. Thanks for watching! and ramble.